Welcome to our channel my dear students. Today we are going to talk about the simple trick to find out the ortho, para and meta directing groups. How to identify the ortho, para and meta directing groups. So it is a very very simple concept. Before getting into the topic we must understand what is ortho, para and meta positions. So here in benzene ring if it is a single substituent is there there is no problem with that so we have to name accordingly suppose if chlorine is there it will be called as chlorobenzene if bromine is there bromobenzene if CH3 is there that is aniline sorry uh, anisole and uh, toluene so we can have it uh, according to that group if CO if OCH3 is there there will be anisole if CH3 is there toluene if NH2 is there aniline so likewise we can name it but one of the substituent, another substituent will come and occupy this position at the time it will be called as or otherwise it will occupy this position at the time there will be a problem will start it. And next one is if suppose it occupies this position that also be a, another problem. Suppose if it occupies these positions like this. Okay. So if you consider this is the position number one. According to that position number 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5 and this is 6. So usually 1, 2 or 1, 6. These are all called ortho positions. Okay. Suppose 1, 3, 1, 3 and 1, 5. These are all meta positions. 1, 4 only called as para positions okay are able to understand so here it is very very simple if benzene only one substituent is there at that time there is no problem with that but another substituent will come and attack come and occupy the another position that time we have to see whether it is ortho or meta or para we have to see very carefully according to that only we have to name it here the very most important thing is uh, before I get into the topic, uh, so we need to understand what are all directing groups, how it directs. Say for example, if I am taking benzene ring, okay, so in which I am going to write the resonating structure because we need to understand the concept well, then only we can able to give a trick. This is very simple. So suppose one CL group is there. So CL is normally donating because of the donation the bond is getting shifted that is what I will be getting the structure like this okay are you able to understand students so here I got double bond and CL because of donation of lone pair it got positive charge this bond there is no change in this bond there is no change in this bond but here I got negative charge are you able to understand students are you able to understand suppose next resonating structure how we can write the next resonating structure so here is the same reason because here also this bond is getting shifted this will be getting shifted because of that that will be getting shifted likewise here I got double bond here I got double bond there is no change in that here also there is no change in that CL plus is there okay uh, now my negative position will be shifting here okay are you able to understand students and next one is Next, I am going to write the another resonating structure. How we can write the another resonating structure? This is also very simple. So here, um, here also the same thing. This will be getting shifted because of this getting shifted. I will be getting form the structure like this. Okay. So here I got negative charge. Here on bond is formed. Here there is no change in this bond. Here double bond, CL and plus is there. Are you able to understand students? Are you able to understand really? So and then next one is next resonating structure, the final resonating structure, how we can write. So this is very important. So here this bond is getting break, this bond is getting break. So I will be getting formed CL and here also what is that uh, double bond, double bond, double bond is there. Okay. Are you able to understand students? Here in that uh, if suppose if you are taking first position, this will be a second position and this will be a sixth position. And this will be a fourth position. So now we can note it down. 1 comma 2. 1 comma 2. This is the first resonating structure. 1 comma 2. This is ortho directing. Ortho position is electron rich. Now it is electron rich. If an electrophile will come and attack. If an electrophile will come and attack. Where it will go and attack. Whether it may attack. 
this negative charge because it has electron rich so electron deficient species will go and attack okay that's what the ortho position and second one is the para position this is a, this is what 1 comma 4 if you am taking first position this will be a 2 this will be 3 this will be 4 suppose if i am taking 1 2 3 4 5 6 six position so at that time we have 1 comma 6 this is 1 comma 4 that is what is para and here 1 comma 6 ortho a little bit understand students here also we can say 1 comma 2 or 1 comma 6 okay so both are ortho and para directing are you able to understand so here the simple trick we have to find out uh, here in the functional groups suppose if you are having chlorine bromine iodine fluorine everything are considered as electron donating group so how we can identify the electron donating group that is what the simple trick is going to help so here you can look at the functional groups in the functional groups in functional groups everything is single bonded everything is single bonded everything is single bond in the sense that will be called as everything is single bond here ch3 ch2 ch3 o ch3 nh2 oh sh everything is single bond that is a good trick to find out electron donating group if it is electron donating group that will be called as ortho and para directing are you able to understand students and next one is so here also the same thing how we can do so here suppose if i am taking this group and um, here also one group is there that is C double band OH. So it's a meta directing. So these groups are meta directing groups. You can look at this. So here also the thing is everything have multiple bonds. So double bond is there or multiple bonds is there. So multiple bond. So that is the multiple bond is there. Okay. That is a good trick to find electron with a drawing group. If it is the electron with a drawing group, that all meta directing okay are you able to understand students this is very very simple trick to find out so ortho and para position as well as electron donating and withdrawing group so now let's see the mechanism of this one so here also the same thing so here the bond is getting it uh, donate the electrons but that is what this will be getting shifted like this so here I will be getting a structure like this. So what are the structures? Here I got double bond and C. Here it is O minus and it is H. Okay. Here I got positive charge. Okay. The bond is getting break. And next fascinating structure, how we can write? Here also the same thing. How we can write it? So this bond is no change in this. Here there is no change in, but here a positive charge. Double bond, C, O minus and H is there. Another resonating structure, how we can write? So here also the same thing, this bond is getting breaked. So now I'll be getting the thing like this. That is uh, this bond is getting break. This is why I got positive charge here. Here I got positive charge. Here uh, double bond is formed, here double bond is formed. Here double bond, C, O minus and H is there. And finally I have got what kind of product so I'll be getting a resonating structure with the C, H, O along with that double bond, double bond, double bond is here. So here in this resonating structure, if you look at the ortho and para positions, these are all not electron rich, they are all electron deficient. When compared to this meta positions, so if you compare this is first position, second position, third position, third position and fifth position is a meta position. Look at this in uh, ortho and the para positions, they are all electron deficient when compared to meta position that is what if an electrophile will come and attack always from the meta position because that is a electron rich one when compared to all these things okay so here uh, thank you so much for watching please go forward to others to get benefit please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you once again thank you thank you for learning Share and like this video.